here at the George Lake Campground Park office. Um, my parents are just inside getting our, um, what's, it, what's it called, the permit things. Yeah, it's called a permit. Um, and yeah, we are hiking to Topaz Lake today, which is H7. And it's, I think, an 11 kilometers with all the elevation and the hike into the campsite. So yeah, it's not too cold right now. It's kind of warming up. Um, I am still wearing my down jacket because it was chilly this morning. But yeah, we'll see how this goes this time. So, so far we have hiked 2.1 kilometers. Um, so remember how like in my last video series on this trail, I was like, hiking is a never ender portage. I hate hiking. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Well, I was trying not to get my feet wet, but I did not succeed. So we're we're about, um, I think, just under two kilometers from Topaz now. We're just at the little water crossing. Um, we always just kind of stop here as like our break before our final before our final push. Um, it's so hot. I'm going swimming. I'm heading up Pig now, which if anybody has been to Kalani or canoe tripped knows that this is like literally one of the worst portages in the entire park. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me. It's just straight uphill. So we've made it to Topaz pretty much. Our site is just down to the, that way. That's a uh, bay fin down there and it is hot. The first glimpse of lake at the campsite is just right there. And then swim time. Not as cold as you think it would be, to be honest. But uh, it's not warm. So we've got a uh, class A gear explosion. Stuff on the line. And uh, yeah.
I can remember looking down and seeing the boat. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, the sun's bright and I can't see without my other glasses, so. Doesn't look that bad, does it? <laughs> so we just uh, sat up on the rocks and had a drink, and now it's time to start the fire, get some food going. There's one crop dust. You're winning. What? <laughs> trying to take a video of my food. Okay, Thunderbox review. H7. Topaz Lake. It is uh, far from the site, so I give it an A in that category. Um... I don't know what way it opens. Okay. Clean. No spiders. Nice view. A plus. Yeah. Remember how I gave this toilet a good review? I take it back. It's a seat topper. If you don't know what that is, use your imagination. And uh, unless you have to number two, you can uh, pick a tree. Because there's some major splashback. Is there any water left in there? No. Oh, you can. I don't see anything. That's it. So it's about 7.55. Um, so 8 o'clock. We are just... We finished breakfast and we've started packing our packs. Um, we're just gonna get changed. And then we're gonna head out on the trail for the day. Um, I think today is like... 15 kilometers. We're going from H7 to H19 on Three Narrows Lake, um, which I'm already dreading because the hike into the campsite is like a kilometer. <laughs> I think it's over a kilometer to be completely honest. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. It was a nice sunset, sunrise this morning. Had some oatmeal for breakfast. And uh, yeah, I need to get hiking-ish. Like I don't want to hike, but you know. Okay, we just uh, made it up and over the pig. I f hate that. That is like, I don't know. My pack doesn't feel so great this morning on my back. Um, and I wore a tank top, which I don't think was a good idea because it's kind of rubbing because of my bag. Um, and we're going at Three Narrows and it's not the nicest swimming site. And I know I'm complaining, but that's how I cope with hiking and yes this was my choice but uh yeah
okay. It's 11.45. We've hiked about six kilometers in two hours, which is pretty good. Um, we've passed six people coming out and we've got about five and a half till our campsite. Um, I, we stopped for a break at H16 on Three Narrows, just off to the side. And I re-taped my, not re-taped, I put tape on my pinky toe. Um, just cause like, my toes are really weird and they have like seams almost. And they, uh, they blister almost immediately. So if you don't feel too bad right now, definitely not great, but I'm not dying, so that's good. Also, pro tip, I know a lot of people don't like hiking with headphones in. I think I said that earlier. Um, but I hike faster, like way faster. I've been listening to some Iron Maiden. <laughs> Oh my goodness. See that campsite sign? Whew, made it. H19, AKA a kilometer off the trail. And that sucks. Why is it a kilometer off the trail? free guarantee socks the right socks i mean they're my feet look better than they did last time so far but uh definitely not blister free so this is where we're gonna be hiking tomorrow one of the reasons i don't like this site okay it's a gorgeous site but it like kind of screws with your head because you're like that's where i have to go and you're like shit so we're going to H22 tomorrow, um, which should only be around a nine kilometer hike. So let's say 10 and today was 15, um, which is nice. And then the day after that's only, I think like six kilometers to H32. So yeah, tomorrow's H22 and then we go to H32 the next day. Um, but tomorrow's like the hardest day and it's supposed to be like 50 kilometer winds and a shit ton of rain. So. So I wore a tank top today and I'm just getting changed into my camp clothes and uh, this is the damage. So we've kind of got like a bruise slash chafing. It feels more of like a bruise than it does chafing. And then same thing right here. The freeze dried apple slices and strawberries from Dollarama that cost you $1.25 are quite good decent portion and it's way cheaper for $1.25 than running our freeze dryer. Holy shit, just pour it. Uh, well, for <laughs> f**k's sake. Whoa! Ugh. Good. Should the not pressure was on. The pressure, like, you know, everybody... Oh, oh look. Really? <laughs> now you have more. No, I don't. Can you still go? have more. Okay, hold on. It's a video. <laughs> really? <laughs> Shit, really? It's a video. Uh, it needs more vodka. What are you eating for dinner? Chicken, pasta italiano, two servants. Might be stale. Not sure. Last night's was. Hopefully this ain't.
probably made some food. Okay, guys. Here at a H19, and I'm heading to the Thunderbox, I think. I'm following the sign and some random trail. Oh, I don't know. What the F? What'd you say? I am, and if I can hear you, then it's too close. Oh, what the heck? Maybe I need to look back on my old video. I'm not gonna... <gasps> Wood roaches on the seat. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, minus five. Okay, so it's too early to go to bed. Um, I mean, I guess it's not. It's after seven, I think. Um, wind's picking up, and uh, I think we actually might go lay in the tents and pre-wrap our feet and all that fun stuff, because it's supposed to be monsooning tomorrow, 10 to 15 mils, I think, and 53 kilometer winds. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Look at this sock that we found. Um, someone was not having a good day while drying out their socks. That is two pairs melted. So tomorrow we hike around this area. We cut straight across there. So we go around this little channel, around, straight across. And then there's a little channel behind there. We go up and then we come and then we tuck behind this island. And then, um, way behind there, there's another mountain that we climb back over that way. And our campsite's kind of like directly that way. But it's a lot of shit you gotta do first. Put our tents over here out of the, the actual campsite is over there. That's water. But we decided that because it's supposed to be really high winds tomorrow, um, and rain, we would put the tarp kind of over the tents the best we could. And, uh, what else? <laughs> I don't know. Put, I don't know, get un, un put away or put our stuff away tomorrow. <laughs>